Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be talking about catback exhausts. Now Yanaka Motorsports was kind enough to donate a uh, catback exhaust for the use in this video, so first of all thank you to Yanaka for that. Um, so a catback exhaust basically, let's go over what is it first. So we've got our engine, uh, and from the engine the exhaust is going to head to the exhaust headers and then to the catal catalytic converter. So anything past this catalytic converter is considered the catback, hence back from the cat. So we've got a resonator, we've got additional piping, and we've got a muffler. So the resonator, here we've got what's going to attach uh, here to this catalytic converter, and it'll travel through this piping and then go through the resonator, which will cancel out some of the noise. The next step we have is the piping, which goes through the center, and that will pass along through. And finally, after we go through the piping, we're going to get to the muffler and the exhaust will travel out and then head out the tailpipe. So these little black things you see here, these are just uh, the metal hangers and basically you're going to have uh, hangers in your car already where the exhaust is hanging on with little rubber mounts and you're just going to slip these right into that. So that's what those are for. So let's talk about why you may want uh, a different catback exhaust. So first of all, if you want a different appearance, you know, something stainless steel, it looks nice, uh, that's something you could go for. Also a different sound. So for Yanaka, what they do is they kind of make it uh, it's still pretty quiet, so it's not louder like a lot of aftermarket exhausts out there, but it has a, a nice deep uh, hum to it. Uh, quality, of course, uh, since this is stainless steel, you're not really going to have to be too concerned about rust. Um, and that can be a problem with older exhausts. They may rust out, so you may just want to replace it. Uh, and then finally, performance, which is what I'm the most interested in, the stock engine versus an upgraded exhaust. So basically, if you just have a stock engine and you haven't done any modifications to it, you're probably not going to get too many gains from a catback exhaust. But if you have added modifications to your exhaust, your catback may become a burden if the piping is too small and it has free flow up until that point. So if your catback is causing too much back pressure by changing it out for a larger diameter pipe, you can get better uh, performance. Uh, and finally, so that's the ultimate goal, we just want to reduce back pressure here. So the more upgrades you have, uh, the more useful it is to switch out your cat back and you'll see better gains from that. So now let's check out the stock diameter piping versus the Yonaka cat back piping. So the current exhaust looks to be about 1.8, exactly 1.8 inches uh, for the inner diameter of the exhaust or uh, 45.73 millimeters. So the inner diameter of the Yonaka exhaust looks to be about 2.26 inches uh, in diameter or 57.5 millimeters. Okay, so now that we've determined what our inner diameters are for both the stock and the performance catback, uh, we can find out what the difference is in the area. So with the inner diameter of 45.7 millimeters, on the stock versus the 57.5 millimeters on the Yanaka catback, we can find out with some simple math dividing the areas that the Yanaka is about 58% more area. So about 60% greater area. Alright, so with the stock exhaust, which has probably been optimized by the engineers for 140 horsepower, once you increase the horsepower and get greater than 140, uh, then you're going to have some restriction in your exhaust system, or it's likely that you could. And so, uh, going with the same uh, theory that the engineers who created this, since the Yanaka is about 60% bigger, we can find out kind of what an ideal horsepower range would be for this Yanaka catback exhaust. So we simply multiply the 140 by 1.6 for the 60% increase, and it gives us about 225. So for an engine producing about 225 horsepower, you could probably see some significant gains from this catback exhaust. So the whole kit all together, this is where it will connect with the catalytic converter, come back through the resonator, that'll connect to the pipe which connects to the muffler, and finally out the tailpipe. 